Hi there guys, I'm Chris Bowden and you're not. Welcome to the Geek Group where once again we're playing with cool stuff. I got goodies from Joe over at Volcano. He sent me this. It's the Magma USB pass-through because I had uh, a pass-through for my Volcano and it crapped out because that's what the pass-throughs for the Volcano do. The first generation ones suck! And they came out with new ones. They've got a new one coming out for the Volcanoes, which is supposedly way better. They fixed the problem with it crapping out after two weeks. So if you own a Volcano USB pass-through and it lived for more than two weeks, then more power to you. Keep doing whatever the hell it is you're doing because all the rest of us out there, they die. But the magma, which smokes like a British factory, I love this thing, has the nifty coil cord, which is a new development. I love that. And it's got a nice long cord on it, stretches out to a full six feet. And it's got this, this is the end, which replaces the battery on your magma. Okay, there's your, now you'll notice in the end there, there's no hole. The reason there's no hole is because there's no air switch inside. There's a button, see that little hickey on the side there? Bing, that's your button. So when you're hitting this one, instead of just sucking on it, you actually press the button and it heats things up and it rocks out. The other end plugs into the USB port on your laptop or your computer or whatever the hell you want because it can be pretty far away and still work. This is neat because you can use it and not have to be stuck to batteries. But what I want to know is the same thing everybody at home is wondering, am I going to take it apart and show you inside? I'm me. They sent me a new toy. Do you honestly think it's going to live through the entire video? Hell no, let's take it apart. All right, so. Uh, let's see, now see this stuff is weird because they've got, on the end, there's always these little cross things on the battery where it looks like a spanner wrench goes in there or something. I have yet to find one that actually unscrews. They're all glued in place. So I'm going to pull on it really good like that. And there's the guts just like that. Nice stiff pull. And this is, this actually is still intact. I could watch. See, I've got it all exposed. There's all the guts. Now if I'm really gentle, I'm really nice. I just stick those back in there. Stick that back in there like that. There. For the first time in a video, you've actually seen me take something apart and put it back together again. Yeah, that's not going to last long. So let's figure out how to get this apart. I totally can't see in there. Time to get my little flashlight. My stream light crapped out, and it's upstairs in, in like, the office. I need to fix that. So I've got my screaming flea light. Oh yeah. Oh, there's something in there. It actually looks like a little circuit board. I don't know if I have something long and skinny enough to reach all the way up in there, but I'm gonna try. I tried that. Okay, that didn't sound good. I think I broke it. I think I broke it in a bad way. It's supposed to a good way. Well, it's probably not supposed to make that sound. All right, I'm going to cut the wire. Oh. Oh. Well, the button came out. All right. Because I don't think that's supposed to make any kind of sound. I'm pretty sure not. Any hey, back off. I'm a Gerber ninja. It's not going to be a thing. I'm not going to let that be a thing. It's already a thing. You're not going to let that be a thing? I'm going to retroactively not make that a thing. The Gerber Ninja thing? I think it's funny. You comment in and tell me if you think Gerber Ninja should be a thing. Because I think we've got it on a t-shirt already. I think it's already a thing. And I think it's a thing beyond Corey's control. I cannot get this open. This is really ferociously built. I'll call that karma. <laughs> what? The, the one piece of equipment I cannot get apart? Yeah. Is, no, this is, this is going down. This will keep you awake at night if you can. Oh, it will. It'll totally keep me awake for days. So I can figure this out. Right, I got an idea. I know what I need. I need a big ass screwdriver here. And. Yeah. See, I tried to be nice about it because I wanted to show that print circuit board inside. There's no way to get a grip on it. Just put your hand right on top. Oh yeah, now I got a battery stuck on the end of my screwdriver. That's just what I wanted. I'm having a day, man. Ah! Bugger! 
<laughs> ah, there you go. All right, so that's as a part, there's really nothing inside. It's a tube with a switch and a socket and a USB cord and there's no data. It's just power feed and ground and there's really, it's a very simple device. You gonna dig that out? Oh, thank you, sir. Can I have it back? Nope. You're just gonna keep it? <laughs> Such a dick to me. I'm gonna add to the collection of things that make you Damn. Things that bug me. There's nothing inside to take out though. It's just, it's pretty much a totally hollow tube with a switch on a little tiny printed circuit board, which you can see in there just a little. Hey, hey, Corey. Hey. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to spam my way in. You ever open a can of spam? No, we've been through this. Oh yeah, you've never opened a can because you've never eaten Spam. Right. See? And that's why Volcano doesn't like you because they're Hawaiian. Volcano loves me. Volcano hates you and thinks you're a dick to me. Joe, leave a comment. Tell yeah, me Joe, like leave me. a comment. And, and man, there's, yeah. Tell me, tell me that you like me. Tell, tell I like you, Joe. You don't even know Joe. You don't know Joe. But he liked, he liked Joe never me. loved you. He liked my secret promo. <laughs> so I like the secret volcano promo that we can never share with the world. <laughs> if uh, if you're out there and have seen the, if you're a serious vapor, I'm sure it'll be making the rounds in some of the e-cig forums. There is a promo that we did that we did just as a joke. And it's, it's unbranded. We just did a rough cut as a proof of concept. We sent it off to some people, and everybody we sent it to had the exact same response. They're like, that's the funniest thing ever. You can never show that to anybody. <laughs> <laughs> so there is a Joe secret. Fall. Didn't Joe fall out of his seat? Joe fell out of his chair laughing, yes. And his entire staff, which is pretty much all women, were like, no, 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 hell no. <laughs> Oh, hell no. <laughs> the, uh, the video that we did was, see, there's... No, 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 don't say it. Let him find it. Okay, you, got, you, you look around. It's out there. Look for the secret volcano promo in your favorite. Just go to any e-cig forum, and I'm sure they'll have it posted. I am slowly carving my way into this battery. There is more in here than I thought. There's actually a chip in there. I will not be beaten. If I have to chew my way in there one little bit of damn time, I'm getting this battery. Well, why don't we cut to a commercial break? Yeah. <laughs> okay, but only if you actually come on camera and say it in that voice. Never. No? Not ever. All right, then. All right, I'm going to gnaw my way into this battery, and we'll be back right after this. <laughs> ah! No smoking, no problem. Volcano. And we're back. All right, check it out. Here it is. There's, there's a sad little waste of it left. Now I'm going to pull it out. I gnawed my way through the whole thing with, I actually had to use these, which are a set of pliers designed for working on braces. And when I pulled these out, well, well I'll just here's, here's what happened when I pulled these out and explained to Corey what they were. That looks like a, a steel tool. You have braces. You don't recognize this? No. This is the special pliers they use to bend the wires for your braces. Ugh. Yeah. Yeah, I have that. Your generation... That just gave me full body chills. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that made it all worth it. So with these and my Ninja Gerber, I got into it. And this is what's inside. There's a glop of glue, of course, because what isn't held in here with tape is done in glue. And two wires that go to the thing, so I'm going to rip that out. Don't need that. All right, we're going to take the glue off, which is stuck on there pretty good. All right, look at that. That's what we've got in there. There's actually a little chip. I have no idea what it does. I love that camera. Look at that. You can see my fingerprints. How so good a camera is that? I love that camera. The, the little baby I love that. Or the macro camera is even better, but I like this one. That's, that's a like $800 JVC camera. It can pick up fingerprints 10 feet away. All right, but look, there's a chip in there, and the number on the chip is 8205. All right, in there, we've also got the spot right here where the switch was, and that was lost through the exploratory surgery getting into the battery. I don't even know where the damn switch went, but it's gone. 
and that's where it would be. So that's pretty much everything. It is. It's a tube with a little tiny circuit board, one chip, four wires, and a USB plug, which we now can totally use for something really cool. I have no idea what I'm going to do with this, but there will be a project with a USB coil cord. In fact, I'll tell you what, first person, you have to be over 18. It's a rule. I don't care what the law says. This is my rule. You have to be over 18 to win this one because it involves smoking and whatnot. But the first person who writes in with a what we deem to be the bestest, most awesome idea for this particular wire ever, I'm, I'll make a project out of it. And I'm zoomed in way too much for that. But we've got a USB with a coil cord and a thing on here. So whoever writes in, we'll give you what? We'll give them a week, I think. I think a week. All right, we're going to give you a week from today when this video posts. We'll wait a week. Send in an email to info at thegeekgroup.org. And whoever comes up with the best idea on this will win. Oh, we will send you your very own Magma USB pass-through. I have another one because Joe was nice and sent me two. So that was one you know, to rip apart and then one for us to play with around here. But I will send this off as a giveaway. First person, 18 years of age or older, anywhere in the world. I don't care where you are. We will ship this anywhere. But come up with the bestest idea for this. It has to be something really cool. It has to be something real. It can't be like... Uh, Plasma cannon to kill zombies. No, you idiot. It has to be something real. It has to be something practical that we can actually build. That damn spider's back. He's up there. You see him? He's right there. He's on the monitor. He's freaking me out. It's it's big white spider, so he keeps sticking out. I was like, there's a spider on the screen. I'm doing it. So yeah, right in. That's the video on the Magma USB pass-through. I'm Chris Bowden. You are not. We love you. Please remember to rate, comment, subscribe. And watch all the way to the end and you'll see cool stuff on how you can be a member of the Geek Group and where you can buy cool Geek Group stuff like nifty t-shirts and all that jazz and where you can donate and help support the Geek Group. You guys have fun. I'll see you next time. Bye. This video was made possible by a grant from the Future Girl Foundation. This video was made possible by thousands of private donations from members and viewers like you. Please visit thegeekgroup.org for more information on how you can donate and become a part of our dreams of Avalon.